Now, Queen Camilla is making headlines this morning because she was hosting an event at Buckingham Palace yesterday. And of course, she was alongside the King earlier on this week when he made his return to public duty. But lots of people have been talking about just how well she looks. She's had a sort of, I don't know, is it a glow up, I think? Mm -hmm. A transformation. Jo Elvin joins me now alongside makeup artist Donna May. Great to see both of Good you. Good morning. And, and let's talk style first of all, because she really has, it's that kind of thing of she's just got it right now. She's got it right. Can yeah. I just take a moment though? Can you ever imagine in the 90s us talking about Queen Camilla no. and her style? I mean, it's just like we are in uncharted territory in it's so many ways. So, I mean, you Look think at about it. 1990s Camilla. No. Obviously, in fairness, without the royal speed dial contacts of the stylist and the yeah. money and but all of this. She's okay. She's fine. She's a you know, middle aged woman a, looking but pretty She good. actually looks so much better now. She does. She yeah. looks younger now. She really does. And it's like a very different look at this and such a modern queen in these I jumpsuits. Like that. I'm a huge fan mm. of our queen in the mm -hmm. jumpsuits. These ones are both by Anna Valentine. Is this might be the first time in British history that a queen has rocked a jumpsuit? No, do you know? I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. But isn't it that thing of that that sort of deceptive, it's very elegant, very deceptively so... simple, because things that are simple can be, you know, quite difficult chic to pull off. as, chic as. And <laughs> do you know what I always say is that nobody has a hat game like our Camilla. Mm -hmm. I just think that oh. she always wins at the hat competition. I love hats. Particularly at Harry and Meghan's uh, wedding, which was the, that one in the middle. It just looks oh, like yes. a sugar spun gorgeousness. I think she's just incredible at that. And I love the hair. Just looks, She just looks like it's the most, world's most expensive cauliflower. It's oh, glamorous and okay. gorgeous. And I quite like that. I, I, I like love that. that. <laughs> She's yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. <laughs> Look at it. But it was like yesterday, she, we saw her in her first official engagement since um, the, the King Charles's cancer diagnosis. Yeah. So a huge day for both of them, really. And I think, you know, again, a first for a British monarch, leopard print. Leopard print is absolutely looking good. gorgeous. And I like, in this, She's got wee brown shoes on there. That's okay. And the heel is, yeah. you know, the heel is sensible. Sensible, but still mm. chic. But still mm. Now, chic. that dress is Fiona Clare for nearly 3000 Pounds yeah, yeah. See, with a tiny, pounds. teeny handbag Beef. from uh, Moynat for five thousand pounds. I've got a feeling you might be able to do that a wee tiny, Guess teeny, what? teeny bit Guess cheaper. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> this is amazing. That's Please, crazy Q, prices. Q Heidi, Heidi, in a lovely little elegant bargain elegant. from Zara for fifty nine ninety nine. I really like that. Isn't that looks it so great? Comfy. I just think that I think Camilla would like that too. I do, and frankly. it's got a pocket jewel. It's got Love a pocket. A Every pockets. queen needs a pocket, even Queen Heidi. Yeah. And the bag is Primark for nine pounds. <coughs> so that's a little bit different. To be honest, I don't see, well, maybe it's just me. I don't see that much difference between that one and the one Camilla's got, except hers is slightly bigger, but that's gorgeous. Exactly, and I love our brown uh, shoes mm. here from H&M, 21, 25. Now, brown is a huge color for summer, actually. Is it? So, yeah, so oh, okay. chocolate brown. So yeah, now, um, so in April, uh, she also wore another leopard print look with a little blouse on Yeah. I've got this one from John Lewis for just just over, just 32 pounds. Yes, I think hers would have been And if you've got expensive. a black dress, stick that under there already. Yeah, that's Gorgeous, a good idea. Right? Yeah. It's lovely. I think you look great, Heidi, but also, yeah. it's as well as that, and I also think a lot of it has to be down to the fact she's relieved that her man is fine, or he's oh, doing well, well. And that, that helps you, doesn't it? Because yeah, then absolutely. the stress just oozes out of your face. But, Donna, she does look good. What? You know, when you're getting, when you're a more mature woman, there mm. are things that you should and shouldn't do, aren't there? Yeah, there's lots of tips. I mean, the talk of the town at the moment is how glowing Camilla looks. You yes. know? And she's got a lovely, natural, understated look. Mm -hmm. um, classic and classy. Um, and I think, like you were saying about the, the brown, you know, it's, it's an understated, isn't it? It's not too, it's not too harsh. And it's yes. softer than black. It's yeah. softer yeah. than black, I yeah. Think so does yeah. that, is that the same when it comes to makeup? Similar to makeup, oh, yeah. Okay. So we started with, Heidi, uh, with Heidi's foundation and we didn't use a foundation, actually. We used a tinted moisturiser. Yeah, trying to avoid heavier products as we age is right. better because it doesn't sit in the lines. Right. Anything that's a on. really good point, isn't yeah. it? Because sometimes yeah. we kind of think, oh, I'll plaster on more to hide it. To hide glitches. it, and all it's doing is, is highlighting it, it, actually. Up. Yeah. yeah, so a really nice tinted moisturiser with some SPF in is, is lovely. Which and again you can, is great. The yeah, and, and it, you can see Heidi's skin, yeah. but also it's, it's evened out the skin tone. Sure. So it does the job. Um, 
And then we've also used some concealer into the, the inner corners of the eyes, just to bring the eyes forward. Because another thing of ageing, I don't know if you know yet, is your, your eyes sink backwards. Oh, do so they? So we get these deep sockets, yeah. Oh, I'm aware. So, um, are you aware, Woody? <laughs> um, so to, to, bring those, to bring the eyes forward, you want to lighten them. So oh. we've used a lighter colour eyeshadow with a tiny bit of sparkle. Right. And that, that's just reflective of the light and brings those forward. Yeah. And Camilla is well known for wearing a black eyeliner and yes. black mascara. Um, so we've used that on Heidi today, but lots of, lots of people think that's a little bit harsh yes. sometimes, and it can be as we age. So using a dark brown is a nice alternative. Yeah, that's just soft. Just a little bit softer, it? yeah, but still, it's still impactful, you know. Mm. But I would think that's a better idea. Next is my favourite product of all, is cream blush. Mm. I think it's just, look at Heidi's cheeks there, they're glowing. Um, and, and it's just the placement of cream blush. Lots of ladies don't know where to put the blush where, where do we put it? We put it, OK, so where you've got yours, right. uh, Lorraine, I know Helen does you. <laughs> So on the apples of your cheeks, Great. on the higher part of the apples, because everything's going south, you know, as we get older as well. So anything we can do to lift the face and put, put makeup slightly higher, that will nice. help. So you, can ah. see, you can see my, my placement and there. And that's better, that sort of creamy one is, is the better. The creamy one's better. A, Again, a staying away from powder, powder mm. products won't True. sit in the lines. Yeah, because they just clog you up. Just clog you up. Cakey. Yeah, it's yeah. Like and, and you've got to retouch loads when you use powder products. Ah. And then we get onto Heidi's lips. So yes. we've got a little tip here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and show you. Sure, sure, sure. So as another mature problem <laughs> is um, the thinning of our lips. Ah, okay. Another problem. And the thinning of the top lip. But there's a little trick you can do. One, to keep the lipstick on and stop the seepage, you know, because you get lots of lines. Uh -huh. um, which is putting foundation over your lips first. Oh! Yep, a little blush, a little um, wash of translucent powder. Right. And then going in with the lip line and the lipstick. It will just last Ooh. a lot longer and, and stop it seeping into the lines. And a top trick here is putting the lip liner on from the outer edges yes. up to the cupid's bow. We normally go from the top down, don't we? Yes. But if you go from the corners up, it just gives you a millimetre extra on that top lip there. She's a genius. So I good. know, it makes all, those millimetres make all the difference. They do. Um, and then Camilla wears a lovely kind of deep rose colour that we're going to put onto Heidi yeah. here, which suits all skin tones. It's really flattering. It's lovely. Deep rose, peachy rose is really pretty, fresh. Because some Beautiful. of the really dark colours don't do Yeah, much dark colours favors. can be aging. They can, so I think you're right. Anything that's light reflective is really good. That's fantastic, Donna, thank you so much. You're right. Beautiful. Thank you. you always do, Heidi, you look absolutely smashing. I think that looks yeah. lovely. I would definitely great, wear right? that. That I dress that is dress. great. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, and you've got it on too. I, well, as if, I, as if I knew what we were talking about. <laughs> I know, it's great. Thank you all so much.